Hi, so in a drive test, when we do the optimization of the network on field, there are certain steps we normally follow. It is not necessary the same steps to be followed by all of the operators or all of the engineers, but it is just a thumb rule that normally what happens when we get a new sites up and running, we normally go and test for it. So it is a single site verification, which is normally being done. Now, the single site verification means we are going to check the different parameters, be it related to the different installation related parameters. Say, for example, we want to install a antenna at a particular height, or we want to give the azimuth and tilt for the antenna in particular range. Has that been done properly? Is the cables which are connecting with the radio unit towards the antenna, is that done properly? Are the the antennas are basically directed towards the location where we actually want to want to cover the particular geography. So all these different parameters which we design initially, which we plan initially, has that been actually implemented on network on ground? So that is being checked during the initial stage whenever the sites get on here. So it's a hygiene check. We and this is what the physically we are checking. We are also checking all the different configuration parameters which are defined in a particular site. So there are different parameters we need to define related to uh, different kind of transmission power, different kind of features that needs to be enabled in the network. So all these different parameters we need to cross check initially when whenever the site gets on air. Now this is at one individual site level, but if we look at the clutter level, if all the sites within one clutter, say for example, we have a particular smaller geography where we have eight to 10 sites, say for example, so we are considering that as one clutter, we want to ensure that whenever user moves from one location to another location, within this clutter, there should be a seamless coverage, seamless connectivity, all these things needs to be taken care. And in that case, we do the clutter testing or the cluster testing in that case. Once this particular cluster testing is done. We go for the optimization of the overall, these, these sites belong to the, this particular cluster. Then what we do is we do the parameter optimization if we need to understand that, okay, there is a coverage problem maybe with one site and we would like to increase the power of this particular site or a cell to improve the coverage or we want to change the azimuth or the tilt or the height of the antenna. All these things are being taken care of at this point in time. Then after we ensure that all the KPIs are met or not, so that is also being done at this point in time. So we need to ensure that the drive test is actually, we are whatever the different KPIs which are related to maybe the setup success rate or maybe related to the handover success rate or maybe related to the drop rates. So all these different parameters and KPIs, we need to ensure that they are actually above certain threshold. So that threshold is being set by the operator to operator. We normally say any any anything between 98% to 100% of the success rate is good enough. And any drop rate between um, zero to 2% should be okay. But again, we need to analyze that at a more granular level that within a, we start within with the cluster KPIs, we can start with the single site KPIs, and then we can dig down further that which are the top five or top 10 cases or cells where actually the issue is happening. And then we can further look into that. Now, these parameter optimization is basically, we need to look into multiple things when we do the testing and optimization on ground. One parameter is the hard parameters which are related to the, the site specifications of the, of the antenna height, of the azimuth, tilt, and all these things. Another is some soft configuration. Maybe are we transmitting the right amount of power from the radio module? Is radio module capable enough of transmitting certain amount of power? So normally any different radio modules we have, it starts from 20 watt, or basically in that case 43 dBm. So that is the base transmitted power for any radio module in case of a macro site. In a micro site, it can reduce down to 5 watt even. So in that case, we need to ensure that is this particular radio module is capable of transmitting maybe 46 
TPM in that case being 40 volt or maybe in that case 60 volt, 80 volt. But mind it, all these different parameter tuning, we need to ensure that this is not going to impact in a negative way. So there is always a trade-off between, you know, improving the coverage, taking care of the quality. So all these things will go hand in hand. All these parameter optimization, KPI checks, the KPI is related to the coverage. We'll talk about that related to the quality, RSRP, RSRQ. We are going to talk about all of them in the subsequent slide. So we need to ensure that all these KPIs are actually met. We are covering certain areas, certain geography, above certain threshold of coverage, certain threshold of quality. We are providing good amount of data rates. So all these things we can check in the subsequent slides. And if not, we keep on optimizing the network till the time we achieve it. Once we achieve it, we say that, okay, our motive of doing the drive test and the optimization is achieved.